magnets. Now we all know the usual stuff that goes on with magnets. Um, in the bush, the interesting thing is here that they're to do with water again. And these magnets are to do with purifying water. Now, you're lucky here, you've got uh, you know, water with um, fluoride and, uh, and, and chemicals in it to uh, take out the, the nasties. Uh, we at home, in my place, we get our water out of the local creek, so there's all sorts of nasties floating around. Now, when the local plumber and the local people come around, they want to flog you a magnetic device that goes around the pipe, which actually purifies. It's brilliant, brilliant technology, that they can do all this stuff. Now, our local plumber is actually flogging these, and he, he was telling me recently, almost every house that he does plumbing in, he's actually fitted one of these, charged for 300 bucks, and everyone is as happy as. Remarkable stuff. So this is another lot of magnets. These magnets, if you look them up on the internet, it's actually quite funny, and there's some real pseudoscience when you read the blurbs. And it gets everything out of the water. Every bacteria, every virus you think of, chemicals that you don't know, it does a lot. They, they make them from, for small houses, um, for pipes like that, through to whole water supplies. There's even one outside where you put around a pipe this big to purify a town water supply. And they're actually idiots buying them, which is the amazing thing. Um, one of the companies that does this uses a mining company. I haven't been able to chase it up yet as a testimonial to say that they use it for the XYZ mine out the bush for the town water supply. Where are the impurities supposed to go? There's no explanation of that. They just there's people that neutralise. There's, there's, have a look at the website. That's yeah, fantastic stuff. Good. Water is big stuff to the farmers. They, they have to pay dearly for it. Mm -hmm. These days, the farmers, are, every, every drop they use, they pay for it. But the success of a farm, uh, for, for at least northern Victoria, is, is how much water they've got to irrigate and how much they've got to pay for it. If they have a good year, there's, there's an average rain, they don't need water. If a bad year, they, they, need, uh, they need more water. And the water's got, and, and cows have, um, cows and cattle have problems with different chemicals sometimes, you know, magnesium is, is a good one. And some of these things claim to put more or less magnesium according to what, 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 the, uh, what the cows need in the top of the air, I mean, absolute rubbish. But they're selling them like hotcakes. Some of these units, um, the house unit, I think that one there goes for a couple of thousand dollars. Um, people are still buying. So it's, it's one of the interesting things we have. But if there's bad stuff in the water, surely you'd notice if this stuff didn't take it out. <laughs> <laughs>